Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the much-awaited star explosion, including how and where you can watch it. North Americans are in for a celestial treat as a star is set to explode in the coming days. It is part of the two-star system called T. Coronae Borealis, which is located 3,000 light-years away from Earth. It comprises a red giant star and a white dwarf star, both orbiting each other. Right now, the star system, also known as Blaze Star, is not visible from Earth. However, experts say that the explosion will be so bright and enormous that humans would be able to see it without any special equipment. The scale of the cosmic event can be gauged by the fact that it would take around 57 million years to reach it even if you were flying through space at 35,000 miles per hour. Despite being this far, people on Earth will have a front row seat. This spectacular occurrence takes place every 80 years, making it a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event that will create a lot of new astronomers out there. Rebecca Hounsell, assistant research scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said in a statement, while one of the stars is a red giant, the other is a white dwarf, with the age difference between them being billions of years. They are two stages of a star's life. A star becomes a red giant during its final stages and blows up in size, while white dwarfs are small and come into existence after a star has exhausted its nuclear fuel and is slowly cooling down. For a star to go from a white dwarf to a red giant, takes billions of more years. The white dwarf will undergo a thermonuclear explosion as it has been absorbing the red giant's hydrogen for a long time. This has led to a buildup of material on its surface, putting it under more pressure and heat. NASA has clarified that it should not be mistaken for a supernova since that stage happens when the star itself explodes. Astronomers are in no position to predict the exact date of the event. However, it is expected to occur by the end of this month. So any time now, you need to locate the Northern Crown or Corona Borealis where the star system sits, but that would become visible only after the eruption. However, you can still locate it using astronomical methods. To be sure to catch the event, you need to go far away from light pollution. Next, find the Big Dipper and follow the curve of its handle. You'll reach a bright reddish star above the eastern horizon called Arcturus. Towards the northeast, there is another bright star called Vega. Between the midpoint of the two stars, seven stars form a curl. This is the northern crown where T. Coroni Borealis will appear. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.